Hi. Turn to page 394. Boys, the plan is simple. It is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and provide new guards for their future security. So this video was supposed to come out one week ago, but was delayed because of the very exciting release of DaVinci Resolve 18.1. But uh, because of some new features added in that release, this plugin has uh, actually been updated already, and I tossed some extra features in there just for fun. Instead of being an effect that has to be placed on a piece of footage or an adjustment clip, uh, the plugin is now a generator that can be dragged to the timeline completely on its own. I also added an edge detect effect uh, for a more organic handheld feel that you can customize in texture control. On with the video. Today I'm releasing a new plugin for the world's easiest highlighter effects in DaVinci Resolve. If you choose to pick up this preset, you'll get to this Highlighter Pro DRFX. Just double click that, it will load it into Resolve, give you this handy little message do you want to install. I have it overwrite because I already have it installed, but I'll just click that. It will load it into Resolve and then in your effects library under effects, Sterling Supply Company, you will see SSC Highlighter Pro. And this is an effect, so I can drag it right onto this one clip I have in my timeline. And then if I start to play, you'll see, hey, uh, something is going on here. It's in the middle of our screen, but we can always select that, hop over to our inspector, right to the effects tab here, and we have all these custom controls. I have to really zoom in to see this highlighter effect on the middle of this area, but under master controls, I do have the center parameter, so I can pull this right down to like this first line of text. Uh, where you start to see we have this like really cool iconic highlighter color and then we can start to see a bit more of what's going on now by default like i said this will automatically write on and then just hold until you cut away or do whatever else you want to do let's talk about advanced controls the first thing you have here is this style select this starts as just this basic write on that's super cool but you can also change it to a custom which we're gonna we're gonna leave for now we'll come back or squiggle one which you can see goes squiggle 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 two which likewise squiggles but in a different way. And then squiggle three, just another option. I really like this one. And then finally, just like a nice circle if you wanna circle up something. And then all of these, if I go back to line, under style controls, all of these options have extra controls here. I have like the border width. I have the join style, which won't matter as much on this line, uh, or just an overall scale. Uh, between that path and you can note uh, it does have this polyline here and that gives you access to something when you check this show view controls uh, nothing changes for now but uh, in this drop down over here you can come do fusion overlay uh, but you will see uh, when I zoom out uh, that's what's going on here I have these show view controls checked and I have the fusion overlay on so it's showing me this mask in the middle of our screen remember we moved that down with these master controls but if I zero those back out um, it will be perfectly overlaid that mask and you can always uh, move it around just by changing these math points uh, just in a few of these options uh, that have multiple points it might be easier to uh, set these paths and then move it after the fact with this master controls so you can see i can move this around and in most of these presets you can still click in the middle of the path to add extra points you can add as many of them you want. You can do real funky stuff. And then here, that join style, you'll see it will either perfectly square out or round or cap those in different ways. And then it will animate over that whole path in the same amount of time. So you can modify these any way you want to. If I hop over to something like squiggle, um, I'll demonstrate here by bringing this down. So it looks like it's here. But if I come in, turn off the view controls for that line, I'll uh, turn on for the squiggle. Uh, you start to see all these points are up here. And if I wanted to change any of these, I could very easily do that. Uh, really helpful here to pull up this border style as well, depending on what you want this overlap to look like. You've got several of the same options. On this ellipse control, you don't have this uh, size slider, uh, but you do have, you know, just this height and width. If you want to like perfectly ring this around something uh, in your scene, that looks really cool. Now let's go back because I actually do want to talk about this custom preset. Custom, and I will hop over to line custom controls. This one is unique because while on uh, most of the rest of these, not ellipse, but on like these squiggles, you can click in the middle of that path to add a point. This line custom control is the only one, oh, you can now see it's already started happening. It starts with those two same points, but then uh, if I click anywhere else, it will add onto that line so very easy to do like custom squiggles or all that stuff as well 
Um, you can add points to the line control, but the line custom control uh, lets you um, extend beyond the bounds of the two. These controls are a little harder to see on the edit page over the fusion page, so it might be um, a little bit of trial and error, but you can have some really, really cool looks. And of course, if I go back to something else we like, uh, like this squiggle three, um, you have a lot of general options as well, like this color. Um, you can have this color be absolutely any color you want it to. And especially this, if you go a little darker, you see, oh, we have some interesting texture stuff going on. That's because way down here, uh, we have this main texture slider. You want it to be solid, you want it to be a texture. And you can change things like the, the contrast of this, the overall brightness, bring it down. Maybe your highlighter is running out of ink or change the angle of this to a whole bunch of different effects, depending how you're writing on. I think this looks really cool, especially with some like brighter colors to where like you don't super, super know what's going on, but you get uh, like a general sense of some texture. And uh, we have these animation controls as well. Uh, time scale, time offset. Uh, if you want it to take twice as long, pull the time scale down to 0.5 and now whew, it'll take twice as long. And then time offset again, if you want it to start a certain length into your clip, you can always bring this up. This is a zero from one to scale. If you want it to start in the middle of your clip, set it to 0.5, that's how it works. And finally, I think the last big control I wanna talk um, is this apply mode. I will actually apply a new instance to this second clip because it is a little darker here. And you can see uh, over a darker background, this like comes through differently. Whereas like now you can see in the text, but not as much in the background, but you can change this darken uh, to uh, lighten or like mess around with all of these. These are your main like overlay options. Uh, so you can like screen dissolve all those ones depending on how you want it to look, but especially over backgrounds um, that are like a bit darker. If you want like a nice bright highlighter color, you can do it. And this is a perfect example of why Fusion and the Fusion page and Fusion effects are going to be such a big deal in Resolve for as long as people are using it. Cause you can take uh, relatively simple effects that wouldn't take you that long, but bundle them up, make them that much simpler, make them drag and drop, save time on every single edit you use these. It's very exciting. Like I said, link in the description will take you to my site where you can pick up this preset. And the experiment is ongoing with presets now. Um, I have dozens of free presets on that site that will live free forever. And this preset will be free for one week. It's a little reward for people who stay up to date on the channel. And now that this video is live, my last free preset, the new updated design uh, YouTube subscribe button animation, that will go behind a small paywall. You can still pick that up, uh, but now, hey, you get this one for free. So if you're interested at all, uh, the clock is ticking, uh, pick it up. And if you're watching this video more than a week from now, uh, I still really like this plugin. I feel okay <laughs> selling this plugin, but you know, stick around. There's probably something else for free on the channel. Check that out. Don't miss out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.